Lawrence Llewellyn Bowen revealed there would be tears if he had the chance of working with Meghan Markle. The Changing Rooms star chatted exclusively and shared his brutally honest thoughts on the Duchess of Sussex. The TV personality had previously branded Meghan as dull and shared that he had no interest in working with her. When asked if this was still true, Lawrence said, Oh yeah, I got into terrible trouble when I said everyone was like oh she's so nice and so lovely. But no, I always felt very strongly that the kind of taste that she has very transatlantic international beige it really wasn't anything I was interested in at all. He added, I'm looking forward to seeing what the new generations do with the places but she is obviously extremely unlikely to get her hands on any of them. So, she can do as she pleases with her style. I think we would definitely get tears I don't often make a duchess cry but that would definitely be an opportunity there. Lawrence is also currently working on the ideal home show, having returned for his 10th year. Talking about the show, he said, This is such a critical time of year for our homes we've been in semi-hibernation in Britain and everything looking a bit drab and dusty and a little bit duck-haired so actually now there's a little more daylight and the sun is streaming and frankly your unwashed windows, so it's a great time for the show. The Ideal Home Show has always been amazing and it gives you ideas of trends and colors and it's much easier being able to see it in person than looking online. It's my 10th tier ribbon cutting and I've been working for the Ideal Home Show a lot longer than that, it's a very important part of the seasonal calendar like Ascot or the Chelsea Flower Show. In other news, the Countess of Wessex traveled to the US last Sunday for a working visit which saw her carry out a number of official royal duties. Royal commentator Richard Fitzwilliams said Sophie's trip was very successful. Mr. Fitzwilliams said, she's relatively low-key, but also manages to balance that with a profile that's very significant. There's nothing sensational about Sophie, it's a question of genuine commitment. The intention of the visit to heighten the profile of certain very important causes has absolutely been achieved. Mr. Fitzwilliams claimed Sophie's visit would boost the monarchy in the U.S. after the Duke and Duchess of Sussex who are living in California after quitting royal duties, made a series of bombshell claims in their TV interview a year ago. The royal expert said, the close links between America and Britain, and the fascination with the British monarchy undoubtedly will continue. There's no question whatsoever that after Harry and Meghan's interview on Oprah things were badly damaged, it was very destructive. But on the other hand, that which is damaged can always be repaired. And that is precisely the sort of important work that Sophie has been doing. Sophie celebrated Commonwealth Day during her busy four-day visit across the pond. The royal ended the trip on Thursday by delivering the keynote address at a United Nations event aimed at upholding women's rights in Afghanistan. Mr. Fitzwilliams said, The America visit really proves what we knew already and that was her work in so many important fields and also the dedication that she puts into it. During the Upholding Women's Rights in Afghanistan event, Sophie told a conference in New York that while the world's attention has turned to Russia's invasion of Ukraine, the crisis in Afghanistan has not gone away and the effects are worsening daily. The Countess urged the international community to support the brave women peacebuilders and activists, and all those who have stood up to the Taliban to demand their rights, while risking their lives in doing so. The 57-year-old is a longtime advocate for women and girls. Sophie publicly committed herself to supporting the UK's work helping victims of rape, sexual violence and exploitation in war in 2019. She has also worked to promote women through the Women's Network Forum, which she founded in 2014 to boost gender balance and equality in the workplace.